Here's how to quickly find and then change the Wi-Fi MAC address of an ESP32 microcontroller. The ESP32's MAC address is assigned at the factory, but you can change it to another MAC address of your choosing. Just be aware you can't permanently change the MAC address. If you upload another sketch and it doesn't have the MAC address changing code in it, then the device's MAC address will revert to the factory assigned one. So this is the code you need to display the MAC address and then to change it. There's a link to it in the description. So I'll do a quick code walkthrough. So we need to include two libraries, Wi-Fi and the ESP Wi-Fi. So at the top here, you'll need to put your Wi-Fi network's SSID in here and the password in here. I should mention that if you just want to check the MAC address, you don't actually need to connect to the Wi-Fi. So in the setup, we initialize the serial port for outputting to the serial monitor. We need to set the Wi-Fi mode to something so that the code is actually activated. So if you call the Wi-Fi.MAC address function, you can return the current MAC address of the ESP32. So to change it, you need a new MAC address. And note that the first byte of the MAC address cannot have a 1. It needs to end in a 0. So it has to be an even number. You can use any hexadecimal value for the rest of them. So we call this internal ESP32 function to set the MAC address. So you simply put in this constant and then you put in the new MAC address from here. So if the MAC address was successfully changed, it should return a zero. So ESP OK is a zero. So we check for that. So if it works, then we'll show the new MAC address. And if it didn't work, then we'll output the result. So we'll only connect to the Wi-Fi calling this method if the MAC address was changed. So here's a quick function just to connect to the Wi-Fi network. So we don't need any code in the loop, although you must put a loop in or it won't compile if there isn't one. So you just need to go to Sketch and Upload. And once it's uploading, remember to hold down the boot button on the ESP32 once it says connecting. And this is the output. It will also show the local IP address that the device has been assigned by the router. In this particular example, I didn't change the MAC address, so it shows the error message. When I ran it previously, I set it to the new IP address, so that did work successfully. So if you go to 192.168.0.1 in a web browser on your PC or mobile phone or other device, then you should be able to log into your network's router. You might only be able to do this if you're using your home Wi-Fi network and not your employees one at work. So every router is different, so I can't really show you a generic one, but if you want to reserve an IP address based on a MAC address, then you, there's normally something here like a routing table. So you put in the IP address you want on a local network, which is normally 192.168.0 something. And then you can put in a name and you can put in the MAC address. So if you're setting up Home Assistant or something or some other Internet of Things device manager, then it's really useful to have a fixed MAC address on the devices that are connecting. So as you can see, I've set up a fixed IP address for my 3D printer and also the PlayStation. I should also mention that if you're doing streaming, for example, on an ESP32 CAM module, then it's really useful to put in a fixed IP address. Otherwise, every time you start it up, you might get a different IP address. So that's how to find the MAC address and change it on an ESP32. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.